so we can also tweak this one. Um, Splunk Docs gives a really good example of how you can leverage Sparkline against your data models. So if we just did a tstats count from this same data model of authentication, and I want the authentication. from the same data model by time. And if we work with the field of user, we can run this and we should get the same results as before. We do, looks terrible because it's not grouped as nicely as the other one. But if you wanted to see it a different way, um, you can leverage the sparkline function and you can sum up all the counts in the last column there. And then sort it by user. And it gives a cool little green line called the spark line. So um, if you really like the way that this one looks, go ahead and geek out and put it as a dashboard panel. Um, a little bit small here with 30 days. You can add spans in here as well to see if it makes it look a little bit nicer. Uh, hour probably be too small a day. I doubt we'll see a major difference here with a 30 day span, but um, yeah, you can hover over it and see, but. Okay, so I just wanted to cover the spark line there because that was a cool call out in the docs.